in this video, we are going to discuss two-point form of equation of a line. To construct an equation of a line using two given points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, we use this formula. y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. This formula is derived from the point slope form. Only that, instead of using m, we use the formula for slope, since the value of slope is not given. Now let us have an example. A line is graphed, and we can see two points on this line, 2 and 12, and 4 and 8. To construct the equation of this line, given these two points, we will use this two-point form y minus y sub 1 and substitute the given. But before we do that, let us assign x sub 1, y sub 1 to the first given point and x sub 2, y sub 2 to the second given point. After that, we may substitute. Use this formula. Then, since we assigned value for each, so x sub 1 is 2, y sub 1 is 12, x sub 2 is 4, and y sub 2 is 8. We just have to follow this equation. For y sub 1, we will use positive 12. So let's just change y sub 1 into positive 12. Then for y sub 2, as you can see, we have positive 8. Let's change it with positive 8. y sub 1 again, and that's positive 12 x sub 2, so we have positive 4. x sub 1, we have positive 2. Then another x sub 1, we have positive 2. y and x of the given equation will still be there. It will not be removed. Then we may proceed in solving. Let's start with this fraction. So we will subtract 8 minus 12 and 4 minus 2. Bring down y minus 12, then 8 minus 12 will give us negative 4, and 4 minus 2 will give us positive 2. Then let's bring down x minus 2. After that, we, before we multiply this 4 over 2 to x minus 2, let us simplify this fraction first. So negative 4 over 2 will become negative 2, since negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. After that, we may now distribute. So it will be negative 2 times x and negative 2 times negative 2. y minus 12 will be copied. Then negative 2 times x will become negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2, since they are both negative, it will become positive 4. After that, we may write our answer in slope-intercept form or in general form. If we will write this in slope-intercept form, we have to leave y alone on the left side. It means we will transpose this negative 12 to the other side. Since this is negative and you have to transpose it, then it will become positive 12. So we have positive 12 on the other side. Then combine it with positive 4. So combine this like terms. 4 plus 12 will give us 16. Therefore, the answer will be y is equal to negative 2x plus 16. So this is the equation of this line. We may also write this in general form. It will become 2x plus y equals positive 16. Just ignore this positive sign. Okay. Let us have more example. Given 3 and 5 and 1 and negative 1. So the same, we will use this two-point form, y minus y sub 1 and so on. Then assign x sub 1, y sub 1 to the first given point, to 3 and 5. And then x sub 2, y sub 2 to the second given point, 1 and negative 1. Then let's substitute it one by one. y sub 1, we have positive 5. y sub 2, we have negative 1 y sub 1, we have positive 5. x sub 2, we have positive 1. And x sub 1, we have positive 3. And another x sub 1 here, so it's also positive 3. Then solve. 
we will solve this fraction first. So, y minus 5 will be copied. Then, negative 1 minus 5 will give us negative 6. 1 minus 3 will give us negative 2. Then, copy x minus 3. After that, simplify this fraction. Copy again y minus 5 and x minus 3, then simplify. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 will give us positive 3, since dividing two negative integers will give us a positive result. After that, multiply 3 to x minus 3. So copy again y minus 5, 3 times x will give us 3x, and 3 times negative 3 will give us negative 9. And now, we can write our answer in slope-intercept form by transposing negative 5 to the other side. So, negative 5 will become positive 5 to the other side and then combine it with negative 9. So, negative 9 plus 5 will give us negative 4. Therefore, the equation of these two points is y is equal to 3x minus 4. Or in standard form or in general form, it is 3x minus y equals 4. Example number 3. Given these two points, negative 2 and 3, and 1 and 15, still we will use this two-point form, then assign x sub 1, y sub 1 to negative 2 and 3, and then x sub 2, y sub 2 to 1 and 15. Then let's substitute. For y sub 1, we have positive 3, and then for y sub 2, we have positive 15. y sub 1, we have positive 3 again. x sub 2, we have positive 1. x sub 1, we have negative 2. Another x sub 1 here, it's also negative 2. Then let's solve this fraction. So copy y minus 3. Then 15 minus 3, normal subtraction will become positive 12 and 1 minus negative 2. So since we have two negative signs here, we may cancel and make it addition. Therefore, the answer will be positive 3. Then copy x and then another two negative sign. Cancel this negative sign and it will become positive. So we have x plus 2. After that, simplify the fraction. 12 over 3, when you simplify, will become 4. So, copy y minus 3 and x plus 2. Then, distribute 4 to x plus 2. So, copy again y minus 3. 4 times x will give us 4x. 4 times 2 will give us positive 8. Then, write your answer in slope-intercept form by transposing negative 3 to the other side. So, negative 3 will become positive 3 and combine it with positive 8. 8 plus 3 will give you positive 11. So the equation of these two points is y is equal to 4x plus 11 and in general form it is 4x minus y equals 11. Another 3 and negative 4 and negative 2 and 1. Use this two-point form again. Assign x sub 1, y sub 1 on the first point and x sub 2, y sub 2 on the second point. Then let's substitute. For y sub 1, we have negative 4. y sub 2, we have positive 1. y sub 1 again is negative 4. x sub 2 is negative 2. x sub 1 is positive 3. And another x sub 1 here is also positive 3. Then solve this fraction. Copy y, and then, since we have double negative again, cancel this negative sign and make it plus. So we have y plus 4. Then solve. 1 minus negative 4, so cancel this negative again. It will become plus. 1 plus 4 will give us 5. Then in the denominator, since both of them are negative, you have to add the number and copy the sign. So 2 plus 3 will give us 5 and copy the negative sign. It will be negative 5. Then here, x minus 3, just bring down. Simplify this fraction. We have 5 over negative 5. Therefore, it will become negative 1. Distribute. So negative 1 
copy y plus 4, distribute negative 1, times x will give us negative x, negative 1 times negative 3 will give us positive 3. Then write it in slope-intercept form, positive 4 when you transpose will become negative 4. So combine 3 and negative 4, it will give us negative 1. So the equation will be y is equal to negative x minus 1. Or in general form, it will become...